Hey there, everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, Pine Tar Baseball. Um, Kurt Berglund just came out with this set of the 1980 Houston Astros with J.R. Richard. It's going to be J.R. Richard versus Jim Catfish Hunter. We're playing a seven game series. It's Houston at the 76 Yankees, the 1980 Houston Astros versus the 1976 Yankees. And let's take a look at those lineups. And let's play ball. All right, we're rolling 2D10. Terry Poole, it's gonna be Terry Poole, Denny Walling, and Cesar Cedeno. And that's an 84. Now, the only special numbers we have to look at are for uh, Hunter 77, really. And uh, he can go uh, maximum is eight. That 84 against a righty will be a fly out center field. Center fielder Mickey Rivers, Mick the Quick out there, haven't seen him in a while. And uh, he gets to that ball, and that's one away. Here's Denny Walling, bats from the left side. I loaded up the Houston Astros lineup with as many lefties as I could, and also I added a DH just because that way I won't have to make as many pitching changes, and I can just focus on playing the game and enjoying the the uh, different players batting and so on. And that's a 73, and a 73 is again skied. This time to right field. Out there in right is Oscar Gamble. That's right. Mr. Fro, he's in right field for the, the uh, 76 Yankees. Had a great season. 300 bats, hit about 17 home runs, so proportionally would hit over 30 home runs that season. He had a really good season. And he was a big part of their uh, World Series run. Here's Cesar Cedeno. And that's going to be a 0-7. That's going to be line base hit. And this was going to roll to the wall. And this is going to get uh, played off the wall by the... Uh, he's a righty left fielder, Roy White, into second base is Cedeno with a double. Two out double for Cesar Cedeno. Cesar Cedeno is a F speed. And um, will not be stealing right now. I'm not sure of how to steal with uh, second base. I'm not sure what if there's a some sort of cost for that. or So I'm not totally sure. All right, let's move this to the... There we go. And here goes Jose Cruz. Two out, one on. And it's a 49, and a 49 is going to be strike three, and that retires the side. Catfish comes back, reaches back for a little extra. Strikes out Cruz. No runs, one hit, one left, zero, and uh, uh, Astro zero. And here come the Yanks. Mickey Rivers, Mick the Quick. That's lefty. Here's a pitch, and that's a 26 against J.R. Richard and a 26 will be a base hit for Mickey Rivers. Slaps one in the center field and Mickey Rivers on it first. Um, base runner, he is still on base. He is an A, one time per series. Not gonna do it right here, I'm gonna hold off on that. It's a little bit soon to do that and here's Roy White. That is a 59, and J.R. Richard is 55 to 60. That's a strikeout. Roy White swings and misses at a J.R. fastball. Slider. Had a, had a great slider, J.R. Richard did. And here's uh, Larry Munson with a, with a 73, and that is going to be a fly to right. It's going to be out number two right there is the right fielder, Poole. And here comes Chris Chambliss. Bats from the left side. Very Consistent hitter, line drive hitter. And that's a pitch from JR, and it's a 44, and that will be a ground ball to first base. And right there is Walling steps on the bag ahead of Chambliss, and that retires the side. So no runs, one hit. And we move to the top of the second. Now keep in mind, Hunter had a so so year, even though he did have a bunch of wins in 76, he didn't have a great ERA. So uh, here's Joe Morgan leading off the top of the second. That's a 35, and a 35 will be a base on balls. Hunter is a C, and a base on balls against a C is going to be a base hit single. Rip to right, and Morgan is on it first. Morgan stolen base is a C. He can go sixth inning or later once per series. All right, here's Enos Cabell. Pitch from Caffich Hunter. That's a 15, and that's a single, and we're going to check that one again. A single against a, what did we say he was? He was a C, and that's going to be a drive down the line. And that Morgan is 
an M. So he's going to hold up and digging. He's going to hold up the third, digging for second is Cabell, and he is safe. So second and third, nobody out. And here comes Alan Ashby, catcher for the Astros. Here's the pitch. Infield is going to be um, in on this one, 0-6, and that is line base hit, and that's going to go down into the corner and played by the right fielder Gamble. One run scores, two runs score, and that is a two-run double for Allen Ashby. Drives in a couple of runs, and the Astros lead it 2 nothing against Catfish here in the Top of the second. Next up is Craig Reynolds. Here's the pitch from Catfish. He's 77. That, I believe, is a strikeout, and it is a strikeout on Catfish's card. That's a special modifier roll. Next up is Danny Heap, the DH, batting ninth. Another lefty. That's a 78 this time, and that will be a fly to right. I'm going to try to tag up. Um, fly to right. It's going to be 45. I'm going to try to tag up, and... Uh, he does not tag up, so it's a fly to right. And Ashby holds his second. Two out now, and here's top of the order. Terry Poole. Richard is not batting. But I keep him there anyway. All right, Terry Poole. He had a 282 batting average and a 357 on base percentage. And that's going to be a 21. That's going to be line base hit. And that will uh, not score a run. Holding up at third is Ashby. So first and third now, and here Denny Walling. So Catfish is really struggling in this inning. Give up, is giving up two runs and four hits, and he's got first and third here with two outs. Let's see if we can get to Denny Walling here. Here's a pitch, and that's a 93, and this should do it. That's a pop-up left side. It is Roy White, and that retires the side. But the Strohs pick up a couple of runs on one, two, three, four hits. And uh, we go to the bottom of the second inning, 2 nothing. Astros. It's going to be Carlos May, who was picked up from the Chicago White Sox in 1976. And here's the pitch, and that is an 11. An 11 is a special roll, I believe, and I'm learning, I'm memorizing these slowly. So uh, an 11. Yeah, it's going to be all right. So we're going to roll on this on an 11, and it's going to be a 0-3. So it's going to be second baseman. I guess second baseman on a lefty and, and third baseman on a righty, I guess. Uh, the batter is is a lefty, so I guess it'll be the second baseman. And um, and the second baseman, let's see, is going to be Morgan. And Morgan's range, because uh, this is a range check. Morgan's range is a G. And... Um, So roll 0-3, if original hit type was first base, the play goes to the catcher. On second and third base, the play goes to the first baseman. All right, so on rolls of 0-3, if the original hit was a first, a single. So this is going to be the, I believe, uh, type was a, it was a single. I'll be right back. That will be another in front of the plate, and the catcher, who is a positive, will. And I got to fly around here, and you know what? Uh, let's see. Let's see if he. Oh, I, guess I got two of them. That's that's one there. One. Oh wow! Came back to life. It's like a zombie fly. Get another one. That's one down. Okay, and if I get the other one, so it's going to be a two-three. Or may a little number in front of the plate, and uh, here we go. Next up is Greg Nettles, pitch from J.R. Richard, and that's a double zero. And a double zero is a deep drive, way back to right field, and that is in the upper deck for Greg Nettles. Puts the Yanks on the board, two to one. Got a hold of that J.R. fastball. And that was a no doubter. Now, actually, on this one, we have to roll on this chart. I just realized that. So it may be turned into something else because J.R. Richard is an A, which is pretty impressive. So we're going to go to the home run. 
we're gonna look and there's the A plus and it's ball four. So I'm gonna have to actually take a run off the off the uh, scoreboard and uh, it's gonna be a base on balls for Greg Nettles instead of a home run. I love this. I love this game. Love that about this game. All right. And here's Oscar Gamble. Here's a pitch. And it's a 37 against JR, and that will be strike three, the second strikeout for JR in this game. He's got two so far. Let's see how many he can accumulate. And here's Willie Randolph. Willie Randolph bats from the right side. Stands back in the batter's box. And here's the pitch. It's a 34, and that is a strikeout back to back Hayes. Two and three for JR. And uh, that's one left for the Yanks. No runs. No hits, one left, and we move to the top of the third inning. Cesar Cedena is a great little game. Uh, you can get these cards uh, from the, I believe it's on Universal Baseball, uh, Universal Baseball Association Facebook group. It may be on the Pine Tar Facebook group. It is in the file section. You can just download these, the 1980s Astros, and you can get a lot of different cards from uh, kurt.berglund at yahoo.com. So that's uh, uh, berglund.com. Kurt at yahoo.com. I think it's B-E-R-G-L-A-N-D -E -E dot Kurt, which is K-U-R-T at yahoo.com. You get lots of different cards, great teams for uh, uh, even, I think they even have some um, some Negro League ball and, and so forth. Here's Cesar Cedeno against Jim Catfish Hunter. Catfish Hunter, one of my favorite pitchers of all time. That's a 64, and that is bounce to the shortstop. That is Mason, Jim Mason. Gloves it over to first, one away. And here is Cruz, Jose Cruz, with a 60. And uh, there's nothing, there's no modifier there. A 60 will be a hard hit ground ball up the middle, and Randolph gets there and sets his feet and throws out Cruz for out number two. And here is Joe Morgan. Pitch from Jim Caffish Hunter. And this is a 49, and that is bounce to the first baseman, Chambliss, who steps on the bag ahead of Morgan. Not retire as a side, three up, three down. And this will be really the last great season or or impress, or, or really a, a, a above average complete season for uh, Jim Catfish Hunter because after this, he starts really struggling with uh, injuries and he's never uh, going to be the same after, after this season. So we are in the bottom of the third inning. The score is 2 nothing. Strohs. J.R. Richard versus Jim Caffish Hunter in game one of seven game series versus the 76 Yankees. It's Houston at Yankees right now, and here's gonna be, here comes uh, Jim Mason. That's an 18, and that is a base on balls. So Mason walks, he's on it first, and up comes the top of the lineup. Mickey Rivers, we'll be right back. We just rolled a range check, and that's, he's a G. And that, uh, GG, so he's a G at third base, and he's a G at... All right, we are back, fielder's choice. White hit into a fielder's choice, and uh, there's two outs now with Roy White at first base. We're in the bottom of the third inning. The Astros are up two to nothing. J.R. Richard versus Jim Caffish Hunter, and oh, Munson. Munson with a 0-5, which is going to be a double, but we're going to have to look at that. It's second base, and a plus becomes a base on balls, but first base is not open, so it's going to become ball two, and we're going to roll again. Here's a pitch to Munson. is a 17, and that's going to be a single, and that 7 is white unless he's fast. Uh, we'll stop at second. He will stop at second on that 7. So we got first and second. With two outs, so the Yanks got a little something brewing here. But there are two outs, and here comes Chris Chambliss. It's not easy to get a hit against JR. This is a potential hit. This is a drive in the gap, and let's see what this becomes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, the 0 7 is going to leave it at that, and uh, it's going to be a base hit. And one run will score, and Munson is M, so he will hold up at third base. But it's 2-1 to one now in the RBI double by Chris Chambliss. So Roy White scores. Stopping at third is Munson. We got second and third. And uh, that's an RBI for Chambliss. 2-1. to one. And here's Carlos May. Pitch from JR. And that's a 0-3. And that is, again, a drive. And that's pulled down the line into the right field corner. Right fielder Poole. 
plays it, plays the carom, and scoring is Munson followed by Chambliss, a two-run double by Carlos May and the Yanks. The 76 Yanks have taken a 3-2 lead here in the bottom of the third inning. A two-run, two-out double by Carlos May acquired from the White Sox. And here comes Greg Nettles, 3-2. to two. Another lefty batter. We, we overloaded the lineup of lefty batters against JR. Here's a pitch, and that's a 26, and a 26 will be a base hit single. And a 6 will allow May to score. Pretty sure he will score. He does. And it's going to be a 4-2 four, a four to two game now. RBI single for Craig Nettles. And he's on it first, and up comes Oscar Gamble. So, wow, JR is really struggling in this inning. Oscar Gamble, who struck out in his first at bat, and that's going to be an 88, which will be a check. This will be a check here, and it's going to be, let's see, 88 will be to who? It will be to the center fielder. Center fielder is Cedeno. And let's see, Cedeno has a, what kind of range rating does he have? Cedeno has an N range rating, right? A range of an N. And that N is going to be no change. It's going to be a base hit. And runners will advance one base there. So first and second. Oh, and uh, Willie Randolph. See ya. JR can get out of this inning. I don't know if he can. Here's a pitch and a 64. I think will allow him to get out of this inning finally. 64 will be bounced to the third baseman. And the four, he will go to second for the fielder's choice. And that will retire the side. But the Yanks pick up four runs on one, two, three, four, five hits. And they lead it. They lead it by a score of four to two. Go to the top of the fourth inning. Top of the fourth inning is going to be Enos Cabell leading it off. Here's Jim Catfish Hunter. Oh, Jesus, that's not good because I'm sitting in the dark here. So we're going to read the blue first. That's a 66. And that number is going to be a check. 66 will be, let's see, against a right-handed. It's a third baseman, Nettles. And Nettles, what is his deal on range? Nettles' range is a, a P at third base, and that will be no change. So it will be a fly out. To, oh, I'm sorry, a ground out to third base. Picked by Nettles, throw to first, and in time to get Cabell. So no base hit there. Nettles feels that. All right, and that's a 98 now. A 98 Ashby will be a check for an error. So we will do that. And then otherwise it's going to be a line out. So it's a 50. And that's 50 is a line out to third base. And we have to roll one more time for the error number. And that is going to be an 8. So it won't be an error. It's going to be an L5. Nice grab by Nettles. And here comes Craig Reynolds. 56. And a 56 is a bouncer to short charged by Mason. Over to first, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits. Hunter has retired seven in a row now. And here comes JR. Mason walked. And it's a 57, which against JR will be a strikeout. So Mason swings and misses. My pen looks like it's running out of ink. I really like these pens. They're pretty, they're fine. These are, uh, what are they? Clicker, it's called. I can't really use, uh, erasable. Oh, it's erasable. Did not know that. <laughs> All right. 
I use white out all the time. It's a 15. It's going to be a check. 15 is going to be a single. So first base against an A plus, that's a strikeout. Back to back K's for J.R. Richard. Here's Roy White with two outs, bottom of the fourth. That's a 35, and we will check on that. It's a base on balls, base on balls, and A. It's going to stay at a base on balls. There's no A plus here. So it will remain a walk. So White is on a first, a two-out walk by JR, and here comes Thurman Munson. Here's the pitch, and that's an 83. 83 will be a fly ball, center field. Over to Daniel, he makes the catch, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits, one left. Go to the top of the fifth inning. Danny Heap, the DH. Leading off, he flied out to right. That's a 68, and that's going to be a bouncer to third. Up with it is Nettles, fires the first in time. One down, playing Pine Tar Baseball. I wanted to play J.R. Richard and uh, Kurt Berglund made up a team. You can get this team. This you can get this team for free at uh, either the Facebook page for Universal Baseball Association or the one for Pine Tar. Either way, you can get other great teams for Pine Tar Baseball from Berglund, B-E-R-G-L-A-N-D. I believe it is um, dot Kurt K-U-R-T at Yahoo.com. I believe I got that right. That's a 26. And a 26 will be a base on balls, a walk to Poole. So Hunter, after retiring eight in a row, walks Terry Poole, then he walling. That's from the left side. He's flied out twice today, once to right, once to left. That's a 90. A 90 is going to be a drive in the gap, and after it is Rivers, and Rivers with a nice catch. And turned on the Jets and caught up to that one. Back to first goes Poole. And here's Cesar Cedeno with two out and one on. Here's the pitch, and that is a that's ball four. But there's a runner on for out. No, but uh, Hunter is a C pitcher, so that will be a base on ball. So that's going to move Pool over to second base. The tying runs are on base now. It's four to two, Yankees. They came up with four runs in the bottom of the third. And here's Jose Cruz, and that's a 21, which will be a single. And uh, that one is, Poole is going to stop at third unless he's fast. He is fast, so he's going to come around to score, I'm pretty sure, on that. Um, the odd number is he's fast two bases. So he will score, and Cedeno, I believe, is also fast. He will go to third. This team got a bunch of fast players. So first and third now, and it's 4-3 to three the score. RBI single for Cruz. Lines one to... Um, He's a lefty, lines one to right, and Gamble plays it on a hop. Four to three, two outs. Up comes Joe Morgan, another lefty batter. And here's a pitch from Catfish, a 54, and that will be a bouncer to second base. Flips to short, and that retires the side. But the Strohs pick up a run. They cut the lead to one. On one hit, a couple of walks. They leave a couple, and it's 4-3 to three now the score. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Hope you're enjoying this presentation of Pine Tar Baseball. I'm your host, Tony Porter. Cards and Dice TV. Remember to like and subscribe. And here's Chris Chambliss against J.R. Richard. Here's the pitch, and that's a 24, and a 24 will be a ground ball up the middle and through for a base hit. So uh, Chambliss leads off with a single. Carlos May is next. And that's a 42, and that will be a little check swing. They check with the umpire, and he rings him up. And Carlos May doesn't like that at all. So one down, heads back to the bench. And here's Greg Nettles. Here's a pitch, and that's a 15, and we'll check that out. That's a single, and a single will become a strikeout back-to-back -back Ks for J.R. Richard, so far he's got four, five, six, seven strikeouts so far in this game. And here's Oscar Gamble. Here's a pitch. And that's a 17, which would be line base hit. And stopping at second is Chambliss. So we got first and second. So the Yanks so far have, let's see, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits so far against. J.R. Richard. Here's Willie Randolph with the runners on first and second, two outs. Here's a pitch from J.R. That's a 47. That will be bounced to second base. 
steps on the bag, and that will retire the side. All right, so no runs, two hits. We go to the top of the sixth inning. And the maximum innings pitched, eight for Hunter and seven for Richard. Richard, neither team, neither uh, a pitcher is going to get that extra bonus inning. And here's the pitch to Cabell, a 49, and that will be bounced to second base. Randolph gloves it, throws the first, and in time to get the speedy Cabell. Next up is Ashby, who's one for two with a two-run double. That's a 78, and a 78 will be a fly to right. Under it is Gamble, two down. And here's Craig Reynolds. Pitch to Reynolds, an 88. That's going to be one of those, again, uh, um, defensive. And that eight defensive uh, range checks, and an 88 will be to the left fielder. Left fielder is White. Roy White, what kind of range does he have? He has an N, and it's not a red N, so it's going to be a neutral N, and that's going to be no change. So it's going to be a fly to left for the third out. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Jim Mason leading it off against J.R. Richard. Here's a pitch, and that's a 66. And that 66 is another range check, I believe. 88 and 66. Oops, I flipped it over the wrong side. And that's 66. We're going to range check the third baseman, Cabell. And let's see what Cabell is. Uh, Enos Cabell, third base, is going to be a G. And that G basically is a hit. It's a red G, so that's going to be a base hit past the diving Cabell for Mason. So he's on with a single. And now we're in the sixth inning, so we're going to bunt on here and see what happens. A standard sacrifice play. And that is, he is a 39. Sacrifice, let me see, sacrifice uh, hit. That's a 39. He bunts, and it's a 32. And it's an even roll, succeeds on an even roll. It's a 5-4. So moving over to second base is, is Mason. Run around second, one out. And here's Roy White with a 22, and that's going to be a defensive check as well. This one's a little bit different. Oh, again, I flipped over to the wrong side. So this one's a little bit different. We're going to roll here. You know, first, we're going to kind of roll these two. It's a 69, so it's, we're going to check the shortstop. And this one, and uh, the shortstop, let's see what the shortstop is. Uh, da, 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 Reynolds, let's see if he's there. No, he's one before that. Here he is. Uh, Reynolds is an N, so the N is going to be a base hit past the shortstop. And on this, uh, let's see. So a hit location, and that too is, I believe, is going to allow the runner uh, Mason to score. It doesn't say anything about. Uh, limiting their advance on this. So we're going to use that two, and that two is going to be, he's an M, so he will he will score. So a base hit for Roy White past the outstretched glove of the shortstop, Craig Reynolds, and uh, the Yanks have taken a 5-3 to three lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Now, I'm not sure what the fatigue number is, in this game, I believe it's actually four runs. The fatigue number may be four runs. Um, not totally sure. Pitcher fatigue system. Let's see. Uh, um, pitcher grade modifiers. Fatigue system limit during their maximum innings pitch. Limit pitchers pitch for an example. Oh, I'll be right back. So Sparky Lyle comes in to finish it off for the Yankees. Jim Cavish Hunter went eight. The score is six to three. We're in the top of the ninth inning. It's going to be Ashby, Reynolds, and Heap. We're going to probably see a pinch hitter because uh, Lyle is a lefty. And uh, let's do it. We're going to roll two dice. Here's Alan Ashby with a 65. And will that be a that? Nope. 
it's a 65 will be a ground ball. Oh, we gotta look on the left side. 65 will be a ground ball to third base to Nettles. Nettles up with it, over to first, one down. So remember, we gotta look at the left side. And here is Reynolds, Craig Reynolds, steps to the plate. He's 0 for three. Here's a pitch, it's a 56. And we're gonna check the modifier numbers. No, a 56 against a lefty will be bounced to short. Mason charges it, throws, and gets Reynolds two away. So the Astros are down to their last out. You're gonna lose game one here, the seven game set. J.R. Richard versus Jim Catfish Hunter. And uh, here is Art Howe, he's gonna pinch hit for Danny Heap. Danny Heap was one for three, but they're gonna bring in Art Howe because he's a righty. Here's a pitch, and that's an 87. 87 will be sky to left. Under it is white, ball game over. The Yankees win, the Yankees win by a score of six to three. Hits, one, two, three, seven, eight hits. And one error for the Astros. Did the I was gonna say the Mets. Did the Yankees make any errors? No errors for the Yankees. Let me double check. Was there one error or two? I think there was only one. The center fielder made an error, and uh, it was uh, Cedeno with an error. And that's gonna be yep. That was it. So the Yanks. How many hits? Uh, let's see. The Yanks had one there. Four, six, eleven, twelve hits. So. The Yanks with six runs, 12 hits, no errors. The Astros with three runs, eight hits, and one error. And uh, we'll, gonna, we're going to play game two and very soon. Thanks for watching. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, J.R. Richard, Pine Tar Baseball.